The first section will discuss arithmetic basics. Definition Whole number A whole number is any of the counting numbers. Examples of whole numbers include 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Examples of numbers that are not whole numbers include negative 1, 3 and 7 tenths, and 3 fourths. Definition Digit A digit is any of the whole numbers 0 through 9. The concept of digit is used to count decimal places. Each digit to the right of a decimal point represents one place. Example Karen sprinted 100 yards in 4.358 seconds. How many decimal places are represented in her time? This number has three decimal places because there are three digits to the right of the decimal, 3, 5, and 8. Definition Integer An integer is any positive whole number, negative whole number, and zero. An even number is any integer that is divisible by two. An odd number is any integer that is not divisible by 2. Example Even and odd numbers alternate on the real number line. 1 is odd, 2 is even, 3 is odd, 4 is even, and so on. Place value Whole numbers the value of each digit in a whole number depends on the position or place of the digit within the number. For example, in the number 17,539,264, the value of the 3 is 3 times 10,000 or 30,000. 3 is in the 10,000s place. Definition Absolute Value Absolute value is a number's distance from the origin zero. Absolute value is always positive. For example, the absolute value of negative six is six, and the absolute value of six is also six. Both numbers are six units from the origin zero. Example, absolute value, evaluate, absolute value of negative 12 and 35 hundredths. Solution, the absolute value of negative 12 and 35 hundredths is 12 and 35 hundredths because the number is 12 and 35 hundredths units from the origin zero. Adding integers, same signs. If the signs are the same, find the sum of the absolute values. For the answer, use the same sign as the integers. Example, negative 5 plus negative 8. Find the sum of 5 and 8, then add the negative sign. Negative 5 plus negative 8 equals negative 13. Adding integers, different signs. If the signs are different, find the difference of the absolute values. For the answer, use the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. Example negative 4 plus 11. Find the difference between 4 and 11 
then keep the sign of the larger absolute value. Negative 4 plus 11 is 7. Subtracting integers. When subtracting integers, change the subtraction sign to addition and change the sign of the second number. Example, negative 9 minus 6. Change the subtraction sign to addition and change 6 to negative 6. Negative 9 minus 6 is negative 15. Multiplying integers. Same signs. If the signs are the same, the sign of the product is positive. Different signs. If the signs are different, the sign of the product is negative. Example. An account has three debts of $7 each. A debt of $7 is represented by the sign number negative 7. The total amount of debt is 3 times negative 7, which equals negative 21. The account balance will change by negative $21 after the debts are paid. Dividing integers. Same signs. If the signs are the same, the sign of the quotient is positive. Different signs. If the signs are different, the sign of the quotient is negative. Example. Victor equally distributes 18 pins to six of his friends. Pins per friend equals 18 divided by 6, which equals 3. Each of Victor's friends received 3 pins. Rounding whole numbers. Round to approximate a number to a given place. To round a number to a certain place, 1. Look at the digit to the right of the given place. 2. If the digit to the right is 5 or greater, round up by adding 1 to the given digit. Otherwise, leave the digit unchanged. 3. Change each digit to the right of the rounding place to 0. Example. Rounding whole numbers. Round this number to the nearest thousand, 36,187. Solution. First, look at the thousands place. Six is the digit in the thousands place. Next, determine how to round. The number to the right of the six is one. 1 is less than 5, so round down. Lastly, change the digits to the right of the thousands place to zeros. 36,187 rounded to the nearest thousand is 36,000. Definition Fraction a fraction is a quotient of two real numbers A and B, written as A over B. Fractions are also known as ratios. A is the numerator, the top number of a fraction. B is the denominator, the bottom number of a fraction. Fraction versus decimal. A fraction can be written as a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Example, write three-fifths as a decimal. Divide five into three. Add a decimal point and a zero behind the three. Now divide. Five into thirty is six. 
Insert the decimal point to get the final answer. Three-fifths equals six-tenths. Fraction versus percent. To write a fraction as a percent, one, divide the numerator by the denominator, two, multiply the quotient by 100, and three, add the percent symbol. Example, fraction versus percent. Write three-fifths as a percent. Solution, first, divide the numerator by the denominator to get 0 0.6. Next, multiply 0 0.6 times 100 to get 60. Lastly, add the percent symbol. 3 fifths equals 60 percent. Definition Ratio A ratio is a comparison of two numbers using division. The ratio of A to B, where B does not equal zero, can be written as A to B, A colon B, or A over B. Definition Proportion A proportion is an equation that states two ratios are equal. Solve a proportion by setting the cross products equal to each other. Example Proportion Solve the proportion x over 40 equals 3 over 5. Solution Set the cross products equal to each other. 5x equals 120. Isolate the variable by dividing both sides by 5. The final answer is x equals 24.